Okay. Uh, so I read this article somewhere which says that you should not charge your phone overnight because it's bad for the battery of the phone. And then I read some other articles which says it's perfectly fine to leave your phone on charge because the phones have the auto cut feature for the battery now. I don't know which one is true, which one is not, but I like to develop things. And so I developed this setup where once my phone reaches 80% or whatever 90% that I have set, it will auto cut the charging. Uh, we'll take a look at the demo for that and then we'll go how I did that. Let's go. So here's the setup. This is the extension cord which is connected to the main power. And I have a charger which is connected to the phone and the servo motor is connected to the Arduino board. So Arduino board has an external power supply. Now I'm gonna start the charging. So let's go here. This is on and off. Let's click on on. Now it has turned on the power charging. My phone is charging now. Current percentage is 80 percentage. So what I want is I want my phone to be charged till 90 percentage. Save this battery percentage to 90 and I'm gonna start monitoring. So now there is a notification here which says monitoring the charging level and this will start the schedule once it reaches 90 percentage it should turn it off so let it run for a while and we'll see if it works So as we can see the charging is off now and the charge is 92 percentage and there is a notification that says charging turned off since threshold reached. So guys this was the demo of how this app controls the switches based on the battery level of the phone but uh, we can use the same device to control any sort of switch wherever we can mount that servo motor. So uh, let's get to the start and see how this whole thing was developed. Let's go. So first, we'll order Arduino set from Amazon. I've ordered it and it's on the way. I've got it. Let's see it. Let's see what all we need from this. We need a breadboard. We need Arduino. We need a Bluetooth module. We need a motor, stepper motor, and a cable. Uh, I guess that's all. We don't need anything else. We will see. So basically, the idea is a mobile app will send a notification to this Bluetooth module that the charge is almost 90 percentage, 100 percentage. This will send a notification to the Arduino, which in turn will send a notification to this stepper motor, and this stepper motor will switch off the button. Let's see if we can do it. We will try to connect this Arduino board with this Bluetooth module and the Bluetooth module and we will see if we can get this Bluetooth module to trigger some action. Let's see. I think it has enough torque to flip this switch. What do you think? Not 180 degrees, but yeah, we'll have to configure that. So let's combine the servo motor along with the Bluetooth module and see if we can twist this based on the input from the mobile. So, all right, guys, I have connected the Arduino board to the servo motor and to the Bluetooth module, and I'm using I'm, I am using this phone. So I have downloaded one Bluetooth uh, Arduino control app in this phone and basically whatever data I am sending from here based on that I can uh, control the servo motor. So if I am sending 0, it is turning that to the 0th position and if I send 1, it's turning it back. So that we can see here now. So I will send 0. And now I'll send one. Okay, so this this basic model is working fine. Now we just need to connect it to the switchboard, 
so that when I give a command, when the mobile app sends a command to the Arduino board, it should uh, flip the switch. So guys, this is the final Arduino code. So TX and RX is the pins that we are taking from the Bluetooth module and we are creating this Bluetooth object with that. So whenever this this available means there is some data to be read from the Bluetooth module. So we'll take the value, pass it to the integer and then just give it to the servo motor. There is a serial monitor where we can see whatever we are printing from the code. So if I send 45, it should print 45 here. Basically my base model is ready while well, Bluetooth is accepting requests. I just need to configure it to be able to topple the switch. Um, and I need an Arduino app so I'll get started with that. We'll make an Arduino app which based on the battery per battery percentage it will send notification to the Arduino. So let's see how we can do that. So for the app I followed a tutorial on instructable.com and I've made an app so basically the setup is ready here and this is just the just an app to control the servo motor so what I've done now here is so you go to pair devices you connect to the Bluetooth module and then there is this on and off so I have given them 0 and 1 so if I press this see if I press 0 and this is 1 now we need to modify this app because this is just this was in demo for LED control but now we need uh, now we need this app to run in background and check what percentage of battery you are in and if you if it is matches whatever we want it to be then it should send a signal to the servo motor which should in turn turn off the power supply so finally I'm done with the app now in the app I can set a limit up to which I want to charge and it will start a scheduler in the backend which will in each interval of 15 minutes it will keep on checking what is the current battery level if it is charging or not and if the level is above the threshold or not if it is above threshold or equal to threshold it will, it will send a notification to the uh, Arduino board and in turn this servo motor should switch off the power supply. So we'll check out the app in a while and after that we'll work on how to configure this to properly switch off the button. Let's check out the app real quick. So here we have a number picker where we can pick what percentage we want our phone to be charged to. Then we have a start monitoring button here. Once that is clicked it will start a schedule. That schedule will run every 15 minutes and it will check what is the current battery percentage and if it has crossed whatever we have set in the threshold so if it has crossed it will send a notification to the android app and that should turn off the switch for the charging then we have this on and off buttons that we can manually control the but control the charging if we want to let's check out the android app code now the main activity is same as that tutorial from the instructable.com so from the list when we pick the device we create an intent for the device handler implementation class so in the device handler implementation class we schedule the jobs and we save the battery percentage so once we click on schedule job it creates a schedule which runs every 15 minutes and it calls this background job schedule implementation class so when the job runs we check if the battery is charged or if the battery is charging so we take the threshold from the saved value and we get the current battery percentage from the intent of the action battery changed once we have that we compare it with the threshold and we check if the battery is overcharged or not if it is then we call shutdown charging so basically it connects to the bluetooth and writes the off value for the servo motor and the button switches off we create a notification that says that the charging removed because the threshold was reached. So as a final step, we'll attach the servo motor to the extension cord and we'll test it with our Arduino app if it is working fine or not. So 
So guys, this was the demonstration of how I created the Android app and the Arduino setup to shut down charging when the battery level is reached. Please tell me what you thought about the video and if you have any suggestions, please put them in the comment box. Thank you.